So what this is going to do is show you who the sixth head is. Let's continue. The directory is the name given to the group of five men who ruled from 1795 to 1799. It was they who sent Berthier to take the Pope prison and bring him to France, and it was the fanatical organized atheism which they represented that brought about the overthrow of every Catholic government throughout the world at that time or soon afterward when the Pope was taken prisoner the overthrow of all of the Catholic governments throughout Europe took place soon or sometime thereafter. And the reason it took place, because at this time, France had military might, and they were capturing all of the nations. And uh, when you look at the map of what took place, how, France, how, how many European nations France captured, as they captured the nations, the Catholic Church was brought into subjection. Are you with me, saints? So the head had been cut. And the Catholic Church received a deadly wound, and a separation of church and state took place. And that separation of church and state, uh, that deadly wound cannot be healed until there comes back a union of church and state. Testimonies, volume 5, page 712, 712 bears this out. And so, brothers and sisters, when that, now listen, when that union of church and state comes back, that would be a healing of the deadly wound. That would mean, and the only way that can happen, we must have a national Sunday law. That's the only thing that's going to heal a deadly wound. And when that national son of law takes place, brothers and sisters, you and I must have total and complete victory over sin. So where are we in relationship to that event taking place? And that's the reason it's so important that we understand this in detail. Let's go. Continuing on. Let me read it again. And it was the fanatical organized atheism which they represented that brought about the overthrow of every Catholic government throughout the world at that time or soon afterward. Let's continue. And this, in my opinion, is what is meant by number six of the seven heads. Without doubt, this is what brought about the deadly wound in 1798. This is taken from Time of the End, pages 43, 44, 1967. And I go on to say history has proven this statement to be absolutely correct. So, the power that brought about the downfall of the papers in 1798 was this new manifestation of satanic power. It was the bottom of the beast from the bottomless pit operating through the directory, which all of these people were part of a group called the Jacobin Clubs. This was the power in France that was determined and set on getting rid of Christianity. Maximilian's role, Pierre, Danton and Marat, all of these people were part of the Jacobin Clubs, which were a part of the Illuminati, of this new mindset, brothers and sisters, that Satan was working through. It was they that brought about the downfall of the papers. It was this ideology, not them person, but this ideology. This is what brought about the downfall of the papers in 1798. They wanted to get rid of all, anything, relating to God or any rule or power or monarchy over them. And they succeeded, but God had predicted that this would take place. And Ellen G. White says the same teachings that led to the French Revolution all are tending to involve the whole world in a struggle similar to that which involves France. Now, I want you to understand something. It was a financial problem in France as well. This financial problem was the underlying cause that made this new teaching so effective because people didn't have any money. Let's continue, saints. I hope you are beginning to see the picture as we can continue to study this thing up. Now, <coughs> excuse me, George McCready Price says that this power that came out of the French Revolution he believes it represents the sixth head. And I will have to say that George McCready Price was exactly right. And he wrote this way back in 1967. Now, saints there, all through the Bible, the whole Bible is built on sevens. So there's only seven heads. And if the sixth head came into existence way back during the French Revolution, we are still under that sixth head. We have not yet gotten to the seventh head. 
But I'm here to tell you that the sixth head is about to go down and the seventh head is about to come on the scene. You're going to find out that the seventh head will only last for a short time. Now, we have to take our time. We've got to walk through this. We've got to build it systematically so that you can understand it. Ellen G. White says all of us have been called individually to be students of prophecy. She further tells us that ministers should present the sure word of prophecy as the foundation of the faith of seven-day Adventists. And with this, behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. So we are to present, we are to understand this prophecy, but also recognize it is only through the power of Christ that we can overcome sin. To know what's going to happen and not have any power to, to prepare ourselves won't do us any good. All right. So in Revelation, the 17th chapter, we see a woman upon a seven headed beast. Are you with me, saints? The Bible goes on to say in Revelation 17, verses 9, as John is puzzled about this woman, and as I, we've skipped over a lot here, but I'm just going to get to this point. It says, And here is the man which hath the wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Now, remember, George McCreary Price said, I be, believe that that poverty came out of the French Revolution that brought about the deadly wound of the papers in 1798 represents the sixth head. Follow me, brothers and sisters. There's only seven. And I'll tell you right now, we're in the sixth of everything. And we're at the end of the sixth and everything. When we come back and study the sanctuary, you're going to find that we're in the sixth in the sanctuary as well. All right, let's look at this. And here is the man which hath wisdom, the seven heads of seven mountains on which the woman said, you need to open up your Bible to Revelation 17, chapter, verse 9. Now, let's look at verses 10. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So here we see there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. Now the question, saints, when is John seeing this prophecy? Because when John sees this prophecy, Five heads were passed off the scene. One is, which would be number six, and the other is not yet come, which would be number seven. And the Bible says when he cometh, he will continue just for a short space. Now, all this fits in with the French Revolution. All right, let's go back to the screen. Now, notice in the second chart, it says, and there are seven kings. I want to put a little line under there. Because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change that there to something else. Because the more correct rendering of this text would be these. Now let's read the whole thing again. And here is the man which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen. One is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. Now let's put a more correct rendering of this text up there. Not changing the scripture or anything, but if you go back to the original, there should be these. So let's put these there. So let's take out that one and put up this one. Let's read the whole thing again. And here is the man which hath wisdom. The seven heads, the seven heads are seven mountains. So the heads that the woman is sitting on are seven mountains. Look at the next verse now. And these are seven kings. So the seven, the seven heads are seven mountains, and these are seven kings. Seven heads equals seven mountains equal seven kings. Are you with me? See, it makes a lot more sense now. Let me read it again. Here's the man which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And these are seven kings. And when John is seeing this vision, Five are fallen, and one is, meaning number six was ruling, and the other is not yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. When John is seeing this vision, five heads are passed off the scene. 
Number six is actually in, in control. 